Hi, I'm Shannon Gavin Johnson, the Director of Legacy Museum on Main, and this is a brief moment in LaGrange's history. Automobiles have played an important role in the history of any town, and LaGrange is no exception. The premier car dealership in LaGrange was the LaGrange Automobile Company. Mr. C.W. Corliss managed the enterprise. According to the LaGrange Reporter, the business sold three cars in 1907. The article goes on to report a total of five cars existing in the city, with a prediction that there would be 15 or 20 cars soon after. The LaGrange Automobile Company was located on Broad Street and sold REO and Ford automobiles. The company offered cars for hire and employed a chauffeur to provide citizens a ride around town. A machinist was also available to repair automobiles. Bagwell Ford dealership, the second dealership in LaGrange, sold 65 cars between October of 1912 and 1913. By 1928, there were nine dealerships, which included C.V. Truett Dodge, Fincher Trailer Ford, Ivy Chevrolet, and Dodd Brewer Motor Company. C.V. Truett Dodge dealership on Hines Street helped usher in a new era. The iconic photo of a salesman and mechanics lined up with their cars reflects the dealership in 1915, but the company actually got their start in the year 1900 as the John F. Carley Livery Feed and Sales Stable. The dealer advertised and sold Studebaker wagons, but gradually gave way to horseless carriages, eventually graduating into the sale of automobiles. Fincher Trailer Ford Company, previously C.W. Smith & Son, was once the largest single dealership in LaGrange. The spacious building was located on Main Street and belonged to H.C. Fincher and T.E. Trailer. The dealership sold Ford automobiles, trucks, and tractors. Trailer operated in LaGrange from 1920 until 1931. According to the March 13, 1933 edition of the LaGrange Daily News, Ivy's Incorporated was housed in one of the finest and most complete automobile buildings on Broad Street and handled both new and used cars, carrying a complete line of parts and operating a repair department. The building was located a block away from Court Square and contained a beautiful showroom surrounded by three sides of glass. A local ad for the dealership boasted new features for the 1933 Chevrolet, such as safety glass windshield and a starter rater. By the following year, Ivy's offered Pontiac, Oldsmobile, and Buick in addition to Chevy. In 1956, LaGrange Daily News advertised the opening of a Buick dealership located on New Franklin Road. It was called Alford Buick. At the time, it was LaGrange's newest and most modern automobile agency with a completely equipped service department to better serve the area's automotive needs. The company celebrated its grand opening in June of 1956. Dodd Motor Company celebrated its 30th year in business in 1958. Run by John Dodd, the dealership sold DeSoto automobiles and was honored for being the oldest DeSoto dealership in the South in 1958. The firm was located where the Troop County Government Center now stands. In those 30 years, both Dodd Motor Company and DeSoto enjoyed tremendous success. On its 30th anniversary, DeSoto offered the 1958 line, 18 models in four different series, and claimed more than 1 million autos in use on American highways. Ford Motor Company announced in 1962 the appointment of Emmett Fling, a prominent LaGrange businessman, as an authorized Ford dealer. Through a series of business deals, Mr. Fling purchased Summit Motors Company and turned it into Fling Ford Company at 315 Franklin Road in LaGrange. Fling Ford offered a service department with 15 service stalls, a 24-hour record service, one of the most modern paint and body shops in the area, and adequate, convenient customer service parking. Fling Motor Company offered a complete line of Ford cars and trucks, including the Galaxy, Fairlane, Falcon, and Thunderbird. Luke and Chevrolet began in downtown LaGrange on Main Street in 1965. By 1966, the dealership was relocated to New Franklin Road across from town and Country Mobile. The Lucan family celebrated a dealership carrying their last name for over three generations and by 1999 had celebrated their 40th anniversary in operation. The dealership sold every Chevy one could imagine, from the Corvair to the Camaro, the Nova to the Impala. Luke and Chevrolet sold cars at the Franklin Road location until it was sold and the name changed to All Pro Chevrolet, which is now the Auto Gallery. In 1985, the first Honda dealership opened. LaGrange Honda was located on Lafayette Parkway. 
Clarence and Jimmy Fincher were the proud owners of a 12,000 square foot showroom and an estimated $300,000 worth of inventory of new Hondas. This would eventually become Mike Patton Honda when local auto dealer Mike Patton bought his sixth dealership in 1989. He purchased LaGrange Honda on Lafayette Parkway in 1989. He owned Mike Patton Volkswagen Mazda on Commerce Avenue and four other dealerships between LaGrange and Atlanta that sold 11 brands of cars. The dealership is still in operation today. LaGrange Ford Lincoln Mercury reopened in 1983 by owners Louie and Faye Hinkle. The dealership was previously Harris Ford but had gone out of business in 1962. The new dealership featured a full line of new and used Fords, Lincolns, and Mercuries. Considered LaGrange's oldest operating dealership, still in operation in 1994, Bill Johnson Motors celebrated their 50th anniversary with a special ceremony. The employees and executives enjoyed cake and read a letter from GMC officials stating this half century of outstanding industry leadership and public service is indeed a noteworthy accomplishment. The groundbreaking ceremonies were held in August of 1987 for the new dealership to be located on Commerce Avenue. LaGrange Toyota broke ground on their new facility on Lafayette Parkway in 2006, but the dealer had been a staple of this area's car sales since the early 1980s. No discussion on car dealerships in our local area is complete without mentioning Kia Motors. In November 2009, Kia started construction at the first U.S. Kia Motors plant, Kia Motors Manufacturing of Georgia. The local factory has built over 3 million cars. Currently, the facility has a production capacity of 340,000 vehicles per year and is responsible for distributing them to hundreds of dealerships across the U.S., Canada, as well as fulfilling international shipments. LaGrange's Kia dealership was officially open for business in June of 2010. It's located on Lafayette Parkway. To learn more about auto sales and automobile history in LaGrange, visit Legacy Museum on Main. This has been a brief moment in LaGrange's history.